Hello and welcome to tonight's Suburban One wrestling matchup, dual meet between the Pensbury Falcons and the Knights of North Penn. Hello, I'm Tom Brown. Alongside me is Joe Walsh. Joe, we should look forward to some excellent matchups tonight. Yeah, there's some great key matchups here tonight. It's going to be a great wrestling match. It's going to be a good show. And we're going to start out at 103 with Joe Radisoni of North Penn and Chris Strickland from Pensbury. And again, they're off to a fast start. Locked up top, Joe. Again, working up top again. These are three two-minute periods. And we're starting off the night here at 103. Pensbury comes into tonight at 15 and 0. North Penn comes in at 4 and 4. North Penn's been involved in a lot of tournaments, Joe, like Hurricane and Beast of the East. Right. And they're still locked. Strickland trying to reach for his legs. And Radisoni right. picks him up. The takedown, that'll be two points, I believe. Can't catch him. And they're going to come back to the middle. And we're going to try it again. Radisoni working on Strickland. One minute left to go here in the first period of play. Now Radisoni's on top of Strickland. Working on him. Still no score here in the first of three periods here at 103. Pardon me, it's 2 nothing. Radisoni leads Strickland. Still no match score with 30 seconds to go here in the first period. And now Radisoni's just working on Strickland, trying to hold him down, Joe. Doing a good job there. Battle and they're out of the circle, so they'll go back to the center yet again with 15 seconds to go here in the first of three periods here at 103. Again, Radisoni leading 2 nothing. North Penn up here in the first match of the night. So he's trying to turn over his opponent there, trying to go for the pin. And that'll be the end of the first period here. And that will do it for the period. But Pensbury's wrestler Strickland does manage to pick up one point for an escape. So it's 2-1 at the end of the first period. Radisoni still holding on to a lead with another two-minute period set to go right here. Strickland gets a hold on him. And that'll be a point for Radisoni with an escape. Now he's got he's got his leg. Now he gets two. And that's a takedown. Take down. Two more points for Radisoni. And he leads five to one. Commanding lead here early in the match, Joe. Yes, yeah, very good lead. Radisoni's doing very well. And he takes him out of the circle. They'll come back to the middle again. Pensbury ranked number two in the area by the Philadelphia Inquirer. Joe, so they're a strong team. Again, undefeated. Very strong team. Radisson, who tries to hold him down. And that will be an escape for Strickland. So it's now 5-2. Radisoni leads 122 to go here in the second of three periods here in our first match of the night at 103 North Penn and Pensbury wrestling dual meet here in Suburban 1. Strickland trying to get out of the hold of Radisoni, but he's just got him, Joe. Yeah, very tight hold there. And we're halfway through the match. One minute left to go here in the second period. Joe's got him up top. 
for the pin, trying to turn him over. Now they're going at it. And they're just kind of locked right there. He's got his arms underneath Strickland's arms, Joe. With 30 seconds to go here in the second period. Again, 5-2 lead here for Radisoni. There will be an injury timeout. It looks like Joe Radisoni's a little bit hurt, Joe. He looks like he's holding his eye there. It looks like he's ready to go back in. But he's back and ready to wrestle. So we have 21 seconds to go here in this second period. He's been looking for the pin being locked up. Now he's just got to flip him over, Joe. Yep. Looks like he's trying to spin him, Joe, oh, get him out of the circle. And that will do it for the second period. Again, Radisson, he's still leading 5-2 to two here at 103. One more period to go. And Radisson, he's doing well here, Joe. He's doing very well. He's just still looking for that pin. Again, he hasn't really been taken on his back. Again, two takedowns for Radisson, Strickland only coming away with two escapes. So he has not yet taken down Radisson in this match, Joe. Right, right. And he continues to work on Strickland. Trying to pick him up. And that will not be a takedown, Joe. Strickland is refusing to be on his back. Right, it's only working him from all different angles, trying to get him to be flipped over for the pin. But to no avail. Radisson, he's still working on him with 1.15 to go here in the final period of this match at 103. And they'll go back to the center. So Radisson, he's only got about 115 to go again, up three here in the third period at 103. One minute to go here in the third period. Radisson, he's still trying to get him on his back. And that will be an escape for Strickland, able to get out of the grasp of Radisson, and he's within two points now, Joe. Yes, 5-3 now. Still locked. They'll go back to the middle yet again with 39 seconds to go here in the period. Radisson, he got him on one knee there. And now he's trying to get him down. 30 seconds to go. Obviously, North Penn would like a pin here, Joe, but I'm not sure if they can get it. Yeah, I'm not sure with 20 seconds left now. Radisson, he's still trying hard. He's getting locked in that battle there. Warning for each wrestler. And again, an escape. Strickland here, but it's not going to be enough as Joe Radisson, he takes the match 5-3. to three. And so it's a decision at 103 for Joe Radisson and North Penn comes up 3-0 here with the first points of the night, Joe. Yeah, so it was a, it was a very even match. Joe Radisson was trying hard to get that pin over. Always had him face down on the mat. He was, and trying, so he was kept, kept going at it, just couldn't get it, but it still took out the win. And so Strickland's record drops to 19 and 8. And now we get to one of the great wrestlers of the night. Here we are at 112 with Matt Rimel of North Penn weighing in at 106.6 and Brian Sellers of Pensbury weighing in at 115. And Sellers is just a great wrestler. Yeah, Sellers was the state qualifier and the region champ here. And he's a very, very good wrestler. It should be a good match. So again, Sellers with good wrestling experience facing off against Rimel of North Penn. 
And now he's trying to get him on his pack. Trying for the pin this early in the match. And Sellers is excellent. Rymel fighting it with all his efforts. Keeping his, shoulders off, keeping his shoulder blades off the mat. Trying to evade that pin. And, there, and the there's pin. the pin. A pin very quickly, 37 seconds for Sellers of Pensbury. And so with six points there, Pensbury is going to go to a 6-3 to three lead on a quick pin from Sellers. It was an excellent match by Sellers. Very quick to get the pin. Sellers improves his record to 26-1 overall, 16-0 in dual meets. And so Dan Wagnazzi of Pensbury weighing in at 121.9 and Weston Welch of North Penn at 121.3. Wagnazzi will wrestle at 119. And I don't think that this one is going to be done just as quickly as the 112 match we just saw, Jeff. I'm sure North Penn is hoping it's not as done that quick either. Unless, of course, it's in their favor. So again, Pensbury leading 6-3. We're wrestling at 119 right now with Weston Welsh of North Penn and Vagnazzi of Pensbury. Two points picked up already there for Vagnazzi with the takedown. And they're really battling here. And that's two more points for a near fall there for Vagnazzi. And now he's trying to get him on his back. Vagnazzi's in a fight, Jeff. Oh. Strong match battle. You can see both men trying very hard. Got 53 seconds here left in the first period. Welsh is having some trouble here. Vagnazzi, obviously the aggressor here. And again, Pensbury, don't forget, number two in the area, 15-0. They've got some excellent wrestlers, Joe. Some very excellent wrestlers. We saw just with uh, Sellers. 30, sec 30 seconds to go here in the first period here. Again, up 4 nothing. Vagnazzi on Weston Welch of North Penn. And they got about 10 seconds to go here in the period. Welsh trying to hold out. Three, two, one. And that will do it for the first period here in the North Penn Gymnasium. So now we'll go to the second period. Again, 4 nothing. your score. Vagnazzi leading Weston Welch of Pensbury. And Welch, Wel Welch will be <laughs> kneeling on the ground as Vagnazzi tries to take him down. As Welch is looking to turn around and try and get the momentum in his favor here. Now he's got him wrapped up, and he's just moving him at will, Joe. Magnazzi's not going to let uh, the momentum go that easily. He's obviously still the, still the aggressor here. And they're calling for Weston to try to stand up. Not sure if he can get it there. And they're going to give three more points there to Vagnazzi for yet another near fall. So again, Vagnazzi up 7-0, 114 to go here in the second period. He's doing a great job here on Western Welch. Yeah, Welch is going to need to turn, around, turn this around fast if he wants any chance of winning. And Welch trying to stand up without much success. One minute to wrestle left here in the second period. And again, trying to get that pin. Yeah. 
now he's got his legs locked. With 30 seconds to wrestle here in the second period. Again, Vagnazzi up seven to nothing. We're wrestling at 119. And he's got his legs locked. About eight seconds to go here in the second period. And that will do it for the second period there. Again, Vagnazzi up seven to nothing after two periods of play. If Welsh wants to turn around this match, he'll have to do it fast, Joe. It's yes, very fast. I don't know if he can pull us out. He's going to make up seven points in one period. And don't forget, there are team points to be won and lost here. Again, one to seven point victory means decision. Eight to 14 point victory means a major decision and one more team point. So again. Right, Vagnazzi will also be looking for the, get some more points here so we can get a major decision. And Vagnazzi picks up two more points right there for a reversal. So again, now he's at nine nothing. It'd be four points if he won by this margin, Joe. Yes, he's also looking for the pin. Definitely be a good advantage for his team. And Vagnazzi's trying to get the pin. Won't get it there. Again, we're wrestling at 119. Dan Vagnazzi of Pensbury and Weston Welsh of North Penn. And that will be three points there for a near fall for Vagnazzi. And he is just debilitating Weston Welsh here mm -hmm. at 119. Definitely the aggressor, still the aggressor who's dominating this match. It's 12 to nothing here in the third. One minute to go. One minute to go here in the third and final period. And again, Vagnazzi trying to pick up some points here. If he can pick up three more, that would make it a technical fall. And he pick up yet another point for his team. Right. Vagnazzi continuing to work on Welsh. Welsh is trying to hold out now. 35 seconds to go here in the third period. Warning there for Welsh. And now right, they're now really in a tussle. He's trying desperately to uh, flip him over for the pin. He's trying to get him there. He's got about 10 seconds left to do it. Here in the third period. Welsh trying to hold out. Five, four, two, one. And that will do it for our match here at 119. Vagnazzi will win by a major decision, 12 to nothing, over Weston Welsh at North Penn, and that will increase the lead for Pensbury to 10 to 3. Again, North Penn is really going to have to start picking it up here, and they can do it right now with John Deary at 125. Yes, uh, this is going to be a good match up here. North Penn's going to be looking to pick up some points. John Deary Down at 127. John Deary weighing in at 127.3. Kevin Chisnell weighing in at 127.8 for Pensbury. And this is a crucial match. John Deary is really a great wrestler for North Penn, one of, one of their best. They're going to call a caution there on Deary. One second after the match starts. Professor's very fierce here, going at each other. Looking to get the first points on the board. An important match here at 125. Kevin Chisnell and John Deary of North Penn. No points as yet, 129 to go here in the first period here at 125. John Deary, again, we'd like to mention. The Deary gets two points there. As Deary picks up two points there for a takedown. Deary is all-time undefeated in dual meet matches except for his loss to Sellers of Pensbury, who won at 112, Joe. Wow. It's a very impressive record. And they're going to take a timeout for a little blood, I believe. On uh, Deary. On the face of Deary with 114 to go here. North Penn wrestling will host a full day and night 
in the first period. Again, Deary up here two to nothing. And again, at regionals, Deary's only dual meet loss to Sellers, so again, he's really a strong wrestler for Very North Very strong wrestler. We saw Sellers was an excellent wrestler, so a loss there is uh, not, not much of a detriment to his reputation. Chisnell, a junior, eight and seven for Pensbury this season. As they clean this, up. Uh, blood won't slow Deary down. I, I doubt it will. A little bit of blood drawn underneath Deary's eye. So Deary going back out there to wrestle at 125. Joe, we can't forget, coming up here at North Penn on Saturday, the 26th, College Night. Again, featuring some different colleges. Uh, that should be a great area event. A good area event. You gotta look at some colleges around the area. With and across the country. And so here we go again, Deary and Chisnell. And Deary is really trying to get some position on him here, Joe. Yeah, Deary's very aggressive in this match. As they battle. Deary continues to work on him. Thirty seconds to go here in this first period, here in the North Penn Gymnasium, North Penn Pensbury dual meet. Pensbury up ten to three. We're wrestling here at 125. John Deary and the eight and seven Kevin Chisnell of Pensbury. Ten seconds to go here in the first period. Again, Deary still up two nothing. And that will do it for our first period here at 125. Deary again leading 2 nothing. Good start, but he'd like to have a little more, Joe. Yeah, he'd like to increase that lead, try and get some more points up for his team, being, seeing as they're down seven. So here we go with the second period. As Deary tries for the ankle pick. And he's got him, and that'll be two more po excuse me, three points there. No, excuse me, one for an escape, two for a takedown. And one point for an escape for Chisnell. So some early scoring here in the second period, Jeff. Yeah, it's, uh, Deary's doing very well trying to get these, uh, take a strong lead in this match. Two more points for a takedown for Deary. So our score is seven to one here with 123 to go here in the second period. Some early scoring again. Two takedowns and an escape for Deary and one escape for Chisnell. Now he's holding him down again, trying to get him in a position where he can pin him. Yes. A great advantage for the team. Put them within one point. One minute to go here in the second period. Again, we're wrestling at 125. John Deary holding a 7-1 to one lead. And there's yet another escape for Chisnell. So Chisnell now down seven to two, and Deary's working on Chisnell. Two more points for Deary for another takedown. That's three this period, Joe. It's an excellent, excellent showing here. Incredible scoring, and I'm sure Deary would like to pick up a couple more points before this period is out, but he's really done some excellent work here in this period, taking him down three times, also picking up an escape. John Deary has scored his points here. And that will do it for the second period. Two more minutes of wrestling to go. 
as Deary leads Chisnell 9-2. to two. Again, good start there for Deary in the second period, yeah, picking up two quick takedowns. Very good, very good second period for Deary there. Got a strong advantage now. He's going to look to capitalize on this. Again, don't forget Deary undefeated all time in dual meets except for his loss to Sellers of Pensbury. <whistles> Tries to roll him on his back, won't work. One point for an escape there for Chisnell. They continue to battle. He's got him up. Trying to flip him over. And now Chisnell's got his ankle. Another takedown for Deary occurred just earlier. So our score is 11 to three. Deary with the lead. Again, every little point helps. He's up eight. With 1.17 to go here in our final period, Deary continuing to work on Chisnell. We're here at 125, and they'll set it up again. Again, all Chisnell's points here have been on escapes. He has not been able to take Deary down, Joe. Yeah, Deary's been very, very strong for him. So we got one minute to go here. In the final period here at 125, John Deary of North Penn with a commanding lead of seven points. But again, he'd like to pick up one more, make it eight, make it a major decision. Bring up one more point for his team. Every point's crucial here. Now and that will be seven. two points right there. Takedown for Deary. That's his, excuse me, that's his, yes, sixth takedown of the match. One in the first, three in the second, and two here in the third. So Deary with a commanding nine-point lead with 27 seconds to go here in the final period. Deary is up 13 to four. Blood timeout for Pensbury. It's gonna be, we've had two times here where we've drawn blood. In this match alone. In this match alone between Deary and Chisnell. So 23 seconds to go here again. Pensbury with a 10-3 lead. But North Penn, if they can hold on to an eight-point or more lead, they can cut that to 10-7, to seven, Joe. Yeah, that would be a very good advantage for them if they can keep this and get a major decision here. Because coming up next after Deary and Chisnell is Jake Hartman and Bill Trimble at 1.30. Again, Hartman wrestling in place of Dave Witt, who will not be wrestling tonight. So again, at 1.30, North Penn is going to need some support, and picking up some points here would definitely be helpful, Joe. Very helpful, and Deary's doing a very good job of doing that. Let's see if we can share this up here. So again, they're continuing to work. Chris Fry and the North Penn Athletic Training staff trying to clean up the blood. And they've got the blood cleaned up now. One minute and 21 seconds used to clean up the blood. And so we're at 13 to four with 20, under 20 seconds to go here in the match. Gandiri continuing to work, 10 seconds to go here. That will be back. one point there. One, two. Get two points for a takedown They will there. give him two more points for a takedown, so that will be 16 to four there. Again, some quick points there at the end for John Deary. And he will take the win 17 to four, so a major decision there for John Deary. North Penn picks up four points.
And so, Joe, there's a little confusion over here at the scorer's table with what the actual scoring is of this match. The ref is saying there were no escapes. A little confusion here. Again, looking for the still waiting the final score here. Result of this match at 125. Coach Schutzlein coming over to talk to the refs, looking for scoring here. Again, we were a little unsure. Things happened so fast in that final 20 seconds, Joe. A lot of scoring piled up there yeah. for Deary. The question is, was it a technical fall, which is 15-point win or more, or was it a major decision? And that point could be crucial for North Penn, Joe. Very crucial for North Penn. North Penn looking to pick as many points as possible here. Deary's given a major decision there, just four points, bring the score seven to 10. And again, the scoring at the end, a penalty called on Pensbury and a three point near fall for Deary, enabling him to pick up the points, 17 to three win, major decision there. And quickly, a two point takedown there. We are now at 130 with Jake Hartman of North Penn and Bill Trimble of Pensbury. Trimble weighing 127.2, Hartman weighing 132. And Trimble with the first strike, two points, Jeff. Very quick to strike there. Trimble's obviously the aggressor here. And off the mat, they're gonna move it back to the center. Another chance to start over. Trimble, a good wrestler, 18 and seven, only a freshman, so he's got a lot of years ahead of him, Jeff. Got a lot of years to improve, a lot of years to get better. So again, the fifth matchup of the night here at 130, here in the North Penn Gymnasium. Trimble leads two nothing, 125 to go here in the first period of action. And Trimble trying to do some work on Hartman. Jake, Jake Hartman trying desperately to get out of the, get out of this hole, try and turn some things around here. Continuing to battle, Hartman tries to get up. But he's brought back down to the mat. Brought quickly down by Trimble. Battle, they're trying to tell him to get his hips up. That will be a warning there on Hartman. Hartman again continuing to try to get up, but Trimble is just manhandling him here, Jeff. Trimble's trying with all his faith. You can see the. Uh, the uh, turmoil in Hartman's face, trying to get out, of, trying to turn this match around. Again, still the score is two nothing. He's trying to get him on his back. He's trying to set him up for the pin, Joe. He's trying very hard. Leg grappling there, and that will do the period. No scoring before the period was out, so the score remains 2-0 in the favor of Trimble of Pensbury, Joe. Yes, Hartman tried very hard there, was able to prevent Trimble from scoring some more in that first period. Very good effort by Hartman. Well, a timeout for North Penn. Again, we've seen blood drawn in the last two matchups here, Joe. Very, very fiercely fought matches here. Comes over to get cleaned up. And Pensbury taking the opportunity to use this as a sort of timeout to pep talk uh, Trimble here, Joe. And giving him some advice, trying to, trying to boost his score and get some more points up there on the board for Pensbury. Trying to increase their lead. As right now it's seven to 10, North Penn trailing. Pensbury with the lead. And a lot of fans here tonight from uh, Penfield, Pembroke, and Pendale Middle Schools. Their wrestling squad's coming up here to watch the match tonight, Joe. Yeah, getting some great spirit here. You got a great program throughout the throughout the years here at North Penn, bringing up uh, the future wrestlers here at the high school, trying to build a good program for tomorrow. North Penn winning a state title back in the 80s. Again, they've got four 100 career win wrestlers. Dan Finaccio, his brother Matt Finaccio, Chris Kortnick, and Tom Radisoni on the banner here in the gymnasium. So again, 
a rich tradition here for North 10 Wrestling, Joe. Very rich tradition. And right now it seems like Jake Hartman is putting on a protective mask yes. of some sort. Seems to be as a result of the blood that's been drawn from him. And so he's being fitted there to protect against further injury, Joe. Yeah, and also check, make sure. <laughs> Not only protects, but a Freddy Krueger type mask <laughs> kind of horrifies his <laughs> opponent over there, Trimble. Yeah, a little bit of uh, intimidation as well as purpose. You don't want to. You don't want to look into that face, Joe. <laughs> so Hartman hoping to use a little bit of intimidation <laughs> here in the second period. We got two minutes of wrestling to go here in the second period at 1:30. Jake Hartman wrestling Trimble, Bill Trimble. Jake Hartman will start off on top here. Hartman will start out on top, and he's trying to get position on him, working very hard. Trying to get him down to the mat. Almost an escape there. And they will call that an escape. Triple getting a point. Hartman trying very hard to turn this match around. So now he's got him up high. And now with the ankle pick, Trimble, and he's and trying triple, to pull him down to the mat. Trimble just reversed there. Trimble two more points. Take down there for Trimble. And they'll bring it back to the center. 135 to go here in the second period. And again, just an amazing skill there. Trimble able to get out of it. And that'll be a point there, first points of the match for Hartman. He's down five to one, and I think that will be a takedown. He's trying to pin Hartman. Trimble's got some good position on him. And two points there for a near fall for Trimble. Another escape there for Hartman, so some quick scoring here, and he's up nine two, Trimble is. Yes, Hartman's really looking to turn this around he was try he's trying his hardest. You can, you can see the passion. One minute to wrestle here in the second period. And now Trimble is working hard on Hartman, trying to get him on his back yet again, Joe. Oh, Trimble's, Trimble's definitely be taking over this match right now. He almost got him there. He flipped him over. He's got him out of the circle. They'll go back to the center yet again with 45 seconds to go here in the second period. Fresh start here. See, if, uh, again, see what happens. Another takedown for Trimble. So he's up 11 to two again, four takedowns, one in the first, three in the third here in this match. One point there for Hartman with an escape. And now Trimble's got him. Two more points there for yet another takedown. So that's for this period, Joe. Four takedowns for uh, Trimble. He's doing a very good job. Tremendous scoring here from Trimble. 11 points scored here in the second period of play as it winds down two, one. Tries to pin him and no points there. So that will do it for the second period of play. And a remarkable job by Trimble there at 130, picking up 11 points in one period of play, Trimble, Joe. Trimble did an excellent job. Hartman was able to hold him off for the first period. Uh, Trimble only poked, took, uh, took I, be I believe, two points in the first period, and Trimble just uh, started dominating the second period. Did very well there. So a 13 to three lead there for Trimble, and I would think now Jake Hartman's job would be to try to scale this down to a decision rather than a major decision, Joe. Right, right, Hartman's gonna try. And that will be an escape. There for Trimble. So he extends his lead to 14 to three. Hartman. Two more points, yet another takedown for Trimble. He's up 16 to three, and now it's just starting to get out of hand, Joe. Yeah, Trimble's just taking this match away. Again, in the last two minutes, 18 seconds, Trimble has picked up 14 points. Incredible job. Four takedowns in that second period, one in the first, one in the third. He just continues to dominate here in this match, Joe. Yes, he's being very dominating. Hartman just Hartman had it in him for the first period and then it's it's been downhill from there. Trying for the ankle pick is Hartman. And he's working on Trimble. Trimble. Working quickly. And Trimble continues to score. He's got another takedown. He's up 18 to 5. That's a 13-point lead there, Joe. Now he's taking a commanding lead. He's just running away with this match. Two more points there for Trimble, and that will do it for your match. Technical fall there. 
for Bill Trimble of Pensbury with yet another takedown. Eight takedowns there in that match. He wins. And he picks up five team points. Very key. Pensbury picks up their lead seven to 15 to, 15 to seven. Wins by a tremendous score there. Oh, he won by the score of 20 to five. It was a very one-sided match after that first period. In technical fall, five points there for Pensbury. So they are now up 15 to seven. And here comes a key match at 135. Mike McDermott, a sophomore from North Penn at 137 and four tenths pounds. And Ben Rees of Pensbury, also a freshman, much like Trimble, at 137. And picking up a quick two points there is Rees. Rees is 18 and six on the season, 12 and three in dual meets. So he's another good wrestler for Pensbury, Joe. Yes, this Pensbury squad is very powerful. Again, McDermott doesn't want to get down too far early, Joe. He doesn't want to let himself get down. He wants to fight with all he's got. And they'll go back to the center with 125 to go here in the first period. Oh, and he picks him up and drops him to the mat. Rees picks him up and a tremendous take down there. He's up four to one. Being very aggressive here, gaining the edge with that takedown. Now he tries for an ankle pick. He's got him up again, trying to get him on his back when he drops him. And he can't get him there. Drops him yet again. Another takedown there for Rees. And Rees has picked up Mike McDermott twice in this match. As Rees is being very aggressive, very very powerful with these takedowns. Three escapes as well for McDermott. So he's keeping himself in the match down 6-3, Joe. Yes, McDermott's keeping himself in the match by being able to get out of there, but also the takedowns are very decisive. If uh, Reese can get the takedown and uh, put McDermott on his back, we have a pin. And he's got oh, McDermott on his back. Two points there for the takedown. And he's trying to pin him. Again, he's almost got him there. It's just a matter of time, it seems. McDermott fighting against Rees. Great job there by McDermott, able to hold out. But that will be three points there for a near fall for Rees, and he's up 11 to three, Joe. Yeah, that was a very, very crucial moment. He would have definitely liked the pin, but the three points are very nice. So that will do it for our first period here in our match at 135. Rees up 11 to three again. 11 points there in the first period. Again, domination reminiscent of Trimble in the last match. But yeah. again, you got to remember, Pensbury 15 and 0, second in the area. They are a tremendous team, and North Penn's doing a great job working yeah. against this squad. Pensbury is a tremendous, tremendous wrestling squad. Very, very good. The powerful throughout. And they'll stop it there with 148. Set it up again. And they continue to fight. Rees picking up a point for an escape there. Two points there for yet another takedown. So Rees is up 14 to three. He's only four points away from a technical fall, Joe. Yeah, he's getting very close here. He's looking for it. Just dominating this match is Reese. Reese on top. Takes him out, 112 to go here in the second, and they'll go back to the center yet again. Can Reese up 14 to three. Pensbury up overall in the match, 15 to seven. You know, Penn really needs to start scoring some points. Now they're battling. And McDermott's got the ankle pick. One minute to go here in the second period. McDermott's still holding on. Down 14 to four.
And they're wrestling. And that will be two more points for a takedown there for Reese. So he's up 16 to four, Joe. Yeah, he's taking a very commanding lead here. He's looking for that technical fall. Reese with six takedowns so far in the match. Four in the first, two in the second. He also had a near fall in the first. Nine seconds to go here in the second. They continue to battle, and that will do it for the second period. Again, Reese up 16 to four, and he'll look to finish him off here in the third, Joe. Yeah, he's definitely looking to finish him off. He wants to, if, if, if he can finish him off with a technical fall or a pin, or North uh, Pensbury will start running away with this match. Right now it's 15 to seven, Pensbury up. Pensbury's definitely looking to capitalize on this. But don't forget, North Penn's got probably their strongest set of wrestlers coming up. Cabot, Dematsis Hill, and of course, Zach Fryland coming up for North Penn. So that's where they'll look to pick up some more yeah, points, that's Joe. Yeah, that's where they'll look to try and turn this thing around. <laughs> now it's 17 to four. And he's up 13 points, and again, he's just trying to get a hold there on McDermott, Joe. Yeah, Rees is being very aggressive here. And that's two points, and that will do it for your match, winning by technical fall, Rees 19 to four over Mike McDermott of North Penn with 121 to go in the third. So Pensbury extends their lead to 20 to seven, and now we hit some really strong North Penn wrestlers. Cabot, Dematsis, Hill, Fryling, Day. This is where they need to pick up the points. This is the heart of the North Penn team. North Penn really needs to pick it up here. They gotta turn this match around. They're, if they're gonna do it, they gotta do it now. And so Steve Cabot weighing in at 140 and 8 tenths, and Joe Bowman weighing in at 142 and 8 tenths pounds, wrestling at 140. And so here we go. Here in the first. And they're really locking heads here. Again, both trying to gain an advantage. Ankle pick there. Ankle pick there for Bowman. And Bowman's got two points on the takedown. One point there for the escape, however, for Cabot. Again, they're just kind of locking heads here, Joe. Yeah, they're locking up tight. Very even, seems <coughs> evenly matched here. No escape there for Bowman. Your score is, excuse me, rather for Cabot. Your score is still 2-1 in favor of Bowman of Pensbury. And they're just kind of locked up there, Joe. Each yeah. one trying to gain an advantage over the other. Some trying some ankle picks. Not much working, though. Yeah, they're going to try and definitely gain one side or the other. This is very evenly matched as opposed to the last couple of matches we've seen. No takedown there for Pensbury, and now Cabot is working on Bowman. And this is a real battle here at 140, Joe. Oh, oh this is an actual battle. Bowman just took him down right there. Oh, took him another two points. Take down there for Bowman. Again, Bowman's a junior, 22 and five record this year, 14 and one in dual meets, and escape there for Cabot, but he's still down four to two. He's gotta try to get a takedown here, Joe. Yeah, he's definitely gotta try and work the momentum in his favor and get some aggressive points here. Half a minute to wrestle here in the first. And they're back to that headlock. Yes, they're back in that position. Cabot trying to make something happen. And Bowman will score yet another takedown. It's Bowman having his uh, strikes, of, strikes of aggressiveness here in this very even match. And now Bowman's trying to work on Cabot. And Bowman seems to have gained the upper hand. Cabot trying to get an escape before the end of the period, but it won't happen. So it's six to two, Bowman leading at the end of the first period. And again, Cabot's got to try to work to get a takedown here, Joe. Yeah, Cabot's definitely got to try and work and bring the momentum in his, into his favor. Two minutes to go here in the second. Cabot will get down on the mat. And 
an escape there for Cabot, so he's down six to three. Now Cabot trying to get aggressive and take him down. Again, continuing to try for the ankle pick is Bowman. And might we have blood here, Joe? I don't know, it seems like Cabot is holding his eye. But he's okay and we'll go back to wrestling. And Cabot blinking again. Still something a little wrong with his eye, but he's still wrestling with it, Joe. He's sticking in there. He's gonna try and pull this around. Cabot trying to gain some kind of an advantage there over Bowman, and now he's on the outside. He's gonna try to spin around, and they'll be back in the circle, Joe. They're going back to the center, see if uh, Kevin gets something started. 126 to go here in the second period here in the North Penn Gymnasium. Pensbury and North Penn in a dual meet here in the Suburban One League. Pensbury again undefeated, number two in the area. North Penn sitting at 500 right now, but they're looking to improve on that. And Cabot's doing a good job here on Bowman, Joe. Yeah, he's doing it, he finally gained the edge that he's looking for. He's got to score some points now that he's got uh, oh. and He's got to try to pin him or take him down. That will be two points there for Bowman for a takedown. That's his fourth takedown of the match. And now they're really starting to get into a fight. And Cabot pushes Bowman out of the circle, and they'll be back to the center. But that was a nice job there by Cabot pushing him out. Yeah, very good job there by Cabot. And it's 8-4. to four. Again, Cabot scoring another escape. He tries the ankle pick now, trying to steal, <laughs> give Bowman a little of his own medicine. Tries to grab his ankle. They will not call the takedown there. And now they're really battling. They're trying to get Cabot to get up. Bowman trying to gain an advantage by getting over top of him, Joe. Yeah, it's still very even in the match, but now Bowman, the Bowman taking. Bowman trying to pin him. Cabot. Is holding on. Bowman with a decisive moment of aggressiveness there. Now he's taking. 12 seconds to go here in the second if he can hold out. But and that will the be pin. the pin. Bowman has the pin. That's six points for Pensbury. Bowman ups his record to 23 and 5. <coughs> Pardon me. Gabbitt again was fighting throughout the match, but again, he just couldn't hold on at the end. Couldn't hold on to that. It was a very well fought match, though, until that decisive moment of aggressiveness by Bowman, which gave him the match. But again, Cabot doing a good job fighting, again, getting a couple of escapes. But again, now North Penn looking at 145 to Mike Dematsis, weighing 144 and 7 tenths pounds. And Kyle Allen will wrestle for Pensbury at 147 and 7 tenths pounds. Allen, so far on the year, has a record of 10 and 5 in dual meets, 8 and 4 in the tournament, so he's 18 and 9 overall. He's a junior, Joe. This is, very, this is gonna be a very good match. Let's see if uh, North Penn can start turning this around now. Dematsis, one of the better wrestlers for North Penn. He's in a fight, tries to pick him up. Dematsis has him off the ground, and that's two points for a takedown. And that's a takedown for Mike Dematsis here at 145, and he's up 2 nothing, Joe. Yeah, North Penn's finally getting, uh, this is their first wrestler to draw the first points here in the uh, last couple of matches. Again, North Penn, six matches to go here. They're down 26 to 7, so they're going to need some points here, Joe. Yeah, they definitely need some points. Count on Dematsis to uh, bring it to him. Looks like he's doing a very good job of being the aggressor here. Dematsis working hard. Definitely, I would think, looking for the pin, Joe. Yes, definitely looking for the pin. Tries Very to get the pin there, the almost had him on his back. He's trying to flip him over now. Dematsis trying, trying to get under his arm. He's trying very hard to flip him over. He's very decisive. And he's kind of got him. But he's out of the circle and they'll go back to the center with 101 to go here in the first period. Again, Mike Dematsis is up 2-0 here at 145. Let's see if Dematsis can keep his momentum going here. Uh, after this uh, restart. That will be one point for an escape right there for Kyle Allen. Dematsis has his one leg, and he's got two points for a takedown. He's up four to one. That was an excellent job there by Dematsis, Jeff. Very good job by Dematsis. He's keeping this momentum going. He's going to try and uh, take out this match. Now Dematz is trying to grab a hold, trying to throw him out of the circle, and he'll do that, and they'll go back to the center again, Joe. Center again. Once again, he's still got to try and keep his momentum going, trying to keep going through this match, get a pin, bring up some points for North Penn. Again, Dematz is up 4-1 with like a pin here 
Uh, but if not, I'll just try to rack up the points and pick up a technical fall, Joe. Yeah, he's definitely trying any any kind of points possible for North Penn right now. Be very good. There will be a caution called there on Kyle Allen. His first of the match. One point for an escape there for Kyle Allen. Dematis throws him to the ground. That's aggressive. two more points for a takedown. Very aggressive takedown. Very good job by Dematis picking up two more points. Dematis is just bull rushing in there. And now that's giving him a very good advantage here while they're locked on the edge of the mat. And Dematis is really taking control here. Back to the center again. Six seconds to go here in the first. He'll try to maybe get a quick takedown here, Joe. Yeah, get a quick takedown. Dematis has been getting him locked up around the edges of the mat, which has caused them to go out of bounds. Uh, and so if Dematis can get him uh, in that lockup somewhere in the center of the mat, he could get a pin right here. And that will do it for our first period. Again, North Penn is Mike Dematis at 145, up 6-2. to two. No fall. He's up 6-2. to two. two more periods to go. Again, Dematis with three. Three takedowns there for Mike Dematis so far in the first period, and now we're into the second. And Dematis trying to flip him over yet again, Joe. Yes, he's trying very hard. He's got him, got him in the center of the mat now. There's going to be no uh, pushing him off the, off the edge right there. And that will be two points for a reversal by Mike Dematis. He's up 8-2 to two now, Joe. The so 8-2 to taking the lead, straight going for the pin. Bowman able to get out there, but it uh, doesn't look like he's going to be able to hold out much longer. Dematz is still continuing to work, trying to get that pin. He's got 123 to go here in the second period, plus the third as well, so he's got some time, Joe. Yeah, he's got some time to work. He's going to work Bowman down, try and score up some points. Now he's trying to flip him with his legs, Joe. Yeah, he's trying very hard there. Bowman not giving up. One minute left in the second period. Dematz again has him on his back, but he's trying to grab control of his upper body to try to flip him here, Joe. Again, it's taken him a while, but it may pay off in the end, Joe. It may pay off in the end. If he wears Bowman down enough, he'll be able to get that pin or get some uh, extra points. He's up 8-2. to two. 34 seconds to go here in the second. Continuing to work. Again, working towards the edge of the mat. Mike Dematz is here at 145. Bowman is uh, forced out again. So Dematz continues to work. 25 seconds to go here in the second. That'll be one point for an escape there for Allen. And now Mike Dematz tries to make something happen. Grabs his leg. Tries to throw him out. Once again, Bowman working towards the end of the mat so he can uh, try and get his momentum back. And that'll be two points there for a takedown for Mike Dematza. So he's up 10-3. to three. Nine seconds to go here in the second. That was an excellent job there by Mike Dematza, forcing him out of the circle and taking him down at the same time. Right. Dematza tries to get him down, but there's probably not going to be enough time for Dematza's three, two, one, and that will do it for your second period. So we'll go to a third and final period. Mike Demas is up 10 to three here at 145. Yeah, Mike Demas is going to try and keep Bowman in the ring so that he can uh, get some more points, take him down. I think Bowman's been doing a good job working to the edges and trying to cause the restart uh, so that he can try and get a one-up on uh, Demas. Demas down in the circle. And he throws him on his back. Oh, and he's got his legs. And that's a reversal for Dematis picking up two points. He's now up 12 to three. We're now in major decision territory, Joe. Yes, we're definitely major decision territory. Mike, Mike Dematis is still definitely looking for the pin. Definitely looking to pick up as many points as possible for his team. That'll be one point for an escape there for Allen. Forces him out of the circle, and they're just gonna take it back to the center, Joe. Yeah, take it back to the center. And uh, Bowman's gonna try and build some momentum, but Dematis is being very strong in this match. 
So DeMotz is continuing to grapple here. Allen reaching for his leg, but he can't grab it. DeMotz is continuing to work here on Allen. He's got the definite advantage in this match, Joe. Yes, DeMotz has definitely been uh, taking the decisive edge in this match. Bowman again working towards the edge. And we're able to get a uh, restart. And so 108 to go here in our final period. DeMotz is up 12 to four. Continuing to work. One minute to wrestle here in the third. And DeMotz is again trying to find something and it'll just force him out and take it back to the center again, Joe. Yeah, when you, when you got no other options. Start. Yeah, try to get no other options. You gotta take it all, try and uh, start again. Forty-five seconds to go here in the match, and Demotis has his leg, and that will be two points for a takedown. So Mike Demotis with two reversals, five takedowns here in the match. He's up fourteen to four, Joe. Yes, he's taking the decisive edge. He's trying to, he's trying to rack up those points, trying to get some more points for his team. And the he's got down. about twenty seconds to try to pin him here. 18 seconds left on the clock as they're going to go back to the center. We've been trailing 26 to 7 here. As many points as DeMotz can get here is crucial to North Bend turning this match around. 18 seconds here at 145. Mike DeMotzis of North Penn and Kyle Allen of Pensbury. That'll be an escape there for Kyle Allen. DeMott's skin just trying to pick him up and throw him to the ground. And that will do it for your match. Penn's very happy because Mike DeMott's couldn't pull off the pin. Mike DeMott's winning by major decision, picks up four points for his team. Uh, good job there by Mike DeMott's. Yeah, very good job there by Mike DeMott's. Of course, he was looking for more. But uh, North Penn has uh, cut down Pennsbury's lead to 15 here, 26 to 11. Pennsbury, the leader. And so now we look to 152 with Brandon Hill of North Penn weighing in at 154.3. And Dave Wheatley will not be wrestling for Pensbury. And Mike Kernu will be wrestling at 152 for Pensbury. Again, a last minute change there for Pensbury, Joe. Yes, bring in Mike Kernu. And so Kernu battling with, battling with Hill early. No points scored, but they're in a tussle here, Joe. Yes, they're in a tussle here. And Hill will pick up two points there for a takedown. Again, North Penn down by 15. They got five wrestlers to go. Still winnable territory here, Joe. Yeah, still winnable territory. Uh, Hill trying to pick up uh, some momentum here. Once again, continuing. Uh, the aggression that uh, was seen with Demontis is trying to pick up some more points. Again, up 2-0, 130 to go here in the first. And we got a battle. Demo excuse me, rather, Hill trying to make something happen. And now he's up top on Kernu. Kernu trying to get out of the grasp of Hill. And now they're fighting. He's trying to get the pin. Oh, he almost had it there. He had the shoulders down and the rest of his body up in the air for a second. Hill continuing to work. He might pull off the pin here, Joe. Almost got him. And, and the pin. that will be the pin. Brandon Hill picking up the pin on Kernu. Very exciting decision there. Brandon Hill, uh, very, very key here in this match. It was necessary for Brandon Hill to get those points. Brings it up and scored. North Penn scored a 17 uh, to Pensbury's 26. And that's closing critical. the gap. That was very critical in this uh, match here. Critical here for North Penn to try to pick up some points, get back in the game, which they're definitely doing, Joe. Yeah, he's definitely doing very well doing that. And uh, Hill was very key in that. Brandon Hill helping his team, and now we come. To 160 pounds. 
with Ryan Berry, and he will face off against Dave Wheatley of Pensbury. Again, so I think Freiling is probably going to move up to 171 to wrestle against Shrimp here, Joe. Yes, and uh, make some strategic moves North Bend is to trying to uh, get the one up in this match. It's now Barry fighting against Wheatley again. Don't forget Shrimp. Shrimp only has three losses so far this year, 23 and three. So it would make sense that they would try to match him up against their best wrestler, Freiling, right. instead of Sean Day. Even right. though Day has a little bit of a weight advantage. Right, right. And so again, no score right here. 138 to go in the first period. We are wrestling at 160. Zach Freiling moving up to 171. Ryan Berry taking his place at 160. No score here. So again, here we are at 160. Ryan Berry of North Penn and Dave Wheatley of Pensbury. And again, Wheatley trying to kind of throw a couple, uh, not necessarily shots to the head, but taps to the head to try to right. uh, disorient Barry. Yes, yeah, trying to definitely trying to uh, get it one up in this match. And will that be a fall? No, that's a trip. No, f no, excuse me, no, uh, no takedown there for Wheatley. So again, we still have no score. Already a minute into this match, no score. That's a rarity, yeah. Joe. Yeah, it's very, it's a very, very close to match here. This is very, this this match is very crucial for North Penn. They really need to continue to build up their points and try and cut down Pensbury's lead if they want to uh, do better in this match. They continue to fight. Again, North Penn head coach, head coach Shetsline banking that Barry can do something here at 160. And so they'll take him back to the center, 25 seconds to go here in the first. They're still scoreless here. Wheatley, a senior, has not won a match all season, so that's definitely a good thing for North Penn, Joe. Definitely a good thing for North Penn. North Penn really needs to take advantage of this opportunity to bring, uh, bring back some points in their favor. And now he tries the ankle pick. Tries to, he's got Wheatley picked up. He's trying to do something with him, but instead Wheatley with an amazing throw to the ground, take down there. He will pick up two points before the end of the period. And that was just an amazing job right there by Wheatley again. Amazing. It, it, it seemed like it seemed like Barry had him picked up, but then he just kind of reversed it. Yeah, that was a, it was a very good move by Wheatley, turning the uh, momentum against uh, Barry. And so now Barry down two nothing, has to try to make something happen here, Joe. Yes, he definitely wants to make something happen here and get some uh, get some points. Near falls would help here. Takedowns would definitely help here, Joe. Takedowns would they're definitely help. They're down low. So again, he's going to try to battle for the pin here because he knows he can pick up Wheatley because he's done it already. One point there for an escape for Wheatley. So he's now up three to nothing. And he continues to battle with Wheatley. Wheatley will get credit for the takedown, and he's now up 5 nothing. so some quick scoring here from Wheatley, Joe. Yes, Wheatley's, uh, Wheatley's being very aggressive here in uh, picking up those points. Barry trying to battle. Barry trying desperately. North Penn really, really needs these points here. One minute, 10 seconds to go here in the second. Again, Wheatley up 5 nothing on Ryan Barry. We're wrestling at 160 here in the North Penn Gymnasium, the North Penn Knights, and the Pensbury Falcons. Dual meet wrestling, Suburban One League. One minute to wrestle here in the second period. And now he's twisting his arm. Wheatley trying to get the pin. And Barry trying to get up. This is going to be close. Wheatley again fighting for the pin. Barry fighting with all his might to try to pick it up, and he doesn't have the pin yet, Joe. Oh, Barry's going to try to be very hard, very key. If Penn's already get this it's win, it could be in doom for North Penn. Barry's trying to flip him over now. We have a battle, 30 seconds to go, and I think the gymnasium is louder than it's been all night, Joe. Well, that was, that was very, very close there to getting the pin was uh, Wheatley. And that will be three points for a near fall there for Wheatley, so he's up eight to nothing. Barry has to try to make something happen to lower this margin, Joe. Yes, definitely. Barry, Barry did a good job getting out of that near fall, but uh, not making that a pin. And he's trying to pin him again. He won't get the pin there, and that will do it for our second period. No pin 
for Wheatley, but he's up eight to nothing with two minutes left of wrestling to go. And they'll both be on equal footing when they start off this third period, Joe. Yeah. Barrett's got to start doing some uh, quick scoring here. If Barry can pick up a takedown or an escape here, that would definitely help his cause, bring it back down to the level of a decision, because now it's eight points, Joe. Right. And with that eight points, that means uh, if they would get four, that Pensbury would pick up four points for this match in, in the win. And Barry continues to fight. And I think we have blood drawn. Injury timeout for Pensbury. Coach Chetslin trying to help out Barry here, trying to see where he can pick up a point, Joe. We're right, trying to see if he can turn this thing around. So Wheatley with two takedowns so far in this match, and again, that near fall with three points really hurt the North Penn cause. Definitely hurt the North Penn. A great job by Wheatley. So now Coach Chetslin trying to pep talk Barry. Giving Barry some tips here. This, this match is very, very crucial to North Penn's, uh, to how North Penn is going to do in this match in the end. 144 to go. Here in the match again, North Penn down overall 26 to 17. Down 8 nothing here in this match, and Barry's trying to make something happen. Even an escape would get it back down to the level of a decision, Joe. Yes, even an escape would uh, keep Hensbury from scoring too much. And they are really battling here. That will be a takedown there. Takedown for Wheatley. Brings it up to 10 to nothing. For Wheatley. And now, Barry just has to hope not to get pinned because any chance of him coming back here, it would be great. And he could probably do it. But in this type of position with only about a minute to go, chances are slim, Joe. Yeah, chances are very slim for Barry to turn this thing around. So he's just got to avoid the pin here. Definitely should avoid the pin. Trying to keep, to Russell, keep as many points off the board for Pensbury as possible. One point for an escape there for Barry. So again, only a nine point margin. A takedown would do it here. Barry continuing to try to fight. He's got about 40 seconds to go here. <coughs> Trying to pick up the takedown. And he is really battling here. He's got about 30, 30 seconds. seconds to go. North Penn wrestles exhorting Barry to try to make something happen here. A takedown would save them a point. Barry almost had it. No takedown there for either. And now Barry's trying to get Wheatley into a pin. Eight seconds to go. And that will be two points there for Wheatley. And that will do it for the match. So Wheatley picks up a major decision and four points for Pensbury. They're up 30 to 17 with only three matches to go, Joe. That match was very, very, very key for Pensbury. Puts them, puts them a, a lot here in this match overall. North End really need that win, but they're going to still see if they can pull us out with their last three wrestlers. And so here comes the crown jewel of the North Penn Knights wrestling squad, their finest wrestler, wrestling at 171, Zach Freiling, and the accolades just go on and on for this wrestler. He was third last year at States, wrestling at 152, third at the Beast of the East, this year at 160, and won the Hurricane Tournament, so definitely a formidable wrestler and an experienced wrestler for North Penn, a junior. Yes, very, very experienced and formidable wrestler. And Freiling with only one loss this entire year to the number one wrestler in the country at 160 from Blair Academy, Palmer, number one in the country. And that was Freiling's only loss. He is very unstoppable. Matter of fact, Freiling this year is definitely one of the most unstoppable wrestlers in the state. And he's looking for at least a gold or a silver here, Joe. Yeah, he's definitely in the state for this the season. Freiling up two to one with 134 to go here in the first. And again, Freiling facing a 23 and three senior wrestler from Pensbury, facing John Shrimp. They'll take it back to the middle. Scores 4-1 North Penn. Zach Freiling leading, and there's another Freddy Krueger mask, Joe. <laughs> another Freddy Krueger mask in there, trying to get some uh, intimidation on Freiling. And Freiling 
Definitely looking for a pin here, so is North Penn, Joe. Yeah, Friley definitely looking for a pin here, and he's trying to turn this match around. 17 to 30 overall, North Penn trailing. This match, once again, very decisive if North Penn wants to take this uh, meet. One point, escape, one point for an escape there for Shrimp. Exactly. Two points for a takedown for Freiling. Freiling being very, very aggressive here. One minute to go here in the first. And Freiling will push him out, and they'll do it again. Again, Freiling definitely looking for a pin here. If you get a pin here, if you're the North Penn Knights, you're down seven, and that's definitely doable. Two major decisions, a decision and technical fall. Again, you can win this match. Yes, yeah, this is definitely key. And also, the last two matches are going to be key for North Penn here in trying to take this match. Caution there for Zach Freiling. Freiling, Freiling very strong in this match. Freiling picks him up and throws him to the mat. Freiling just dominating. And now Freiling trying to pin him. 44 seconds to go here in the first. And we have an injury timeout. We have an injury timeout. Penn's very, uh, Russell looks very hurt. And it looks like he may have a separated shoulder. I'm not sure, Joe. Yes, I'm not sure. He had 44 seconds to go here in the first. Definitely looks like he's in pain. John Shrimp wrestling at 171 for Pensbury. Again, 23 and three this season. Freiling with only one loss. Freiling was just being very, very aggressive in that match. He was doing very well. Shrimp still, still looking a little hurt, but he's standing, so that's a good sign, Joe. Yes, definitely a good sign. So again, Shrimp still looking a little hurt, shaking out the shoulder, seeing how it works, Joe. Yeah, he's going to see if he can take this on. And 44 seconds remain here in the first. And Freiling is going to now try to pin Shrimp again here in the first. And he's trying to grab him in a half Nelson, I believe, Joe. Yes, I believe so. And now he's got him on his back. That's one. That could be Freiling very aggressive continuing here. Continuing to work on Shrimp. That's three points for a near fall. So Freiling is up nine to two with 19 seconds to go here in the first. And he looks hurt again, Joe. Yeah, definitely not looking good, Joe. Not looking good for the Pensbury wrestler here. So again, North Penn up nine to two. Zach Freiling will win. That will be a forfeit Perfect there trip. for Pensbury. That was, those are some much needed points for North Penn. And so Zach Freiling picks up the win there. Again, still only one loss this year as Shrimp appeared hurt, Joe. Yeah, Shrimp appeared very hurt there. Zach Freiling being incredibly aggressive that match, doing very well. And, uh, Picking up the nuts and points for North Penn if they want to take out this match. Bring up the score to 23-30. North Penn still trailing. With two wrestlers left, they still have a chance in this uh, wrestling meet. And so the injury default there for Pensbury, that puts North Penn right in the thick of things again. They're down seven, but they're going to need a strong performance here at 189 from Sean Day, the senior wrestler for North Penn, weighing in at 172. 0.5 pounds, Sean Day of North Penn. Fierce, fierce match right in here. In a fight here with Pat Frain, and they are grappling early, Joe. He oh, picks up Frain, and Frain almost Frain has him in a pin. Frain almost had him after that. Again, Frain trying to pin Day. Day able to pull out of it. We really have an exciting match here. And Day, and the very, headpiece very falls off for Frain. <laughs> Frain loses his headpiece. That was so aggressive. That was an 
a very hard fought match. Just proven by the fact that uh, Frain lost his headpiece. Two points for a takedown, however, there for Frain again in that fight. Excuse me, four points. One point pick up there for Day. So he's down four to one early, Joe. Yes, he's down four to one. So four to one, and now Frain is trying to make something here. 123 to go here in the first. Sean Day's trying to pick this up, turn this around. It's now Day trying to make something happen, possibly with a takedown again. Wrestling here at 189. The last wrestler in the heavyweight division will be Pete McCormick of North Penn. But Day's gonna try to make something happen here. And that should be a takedown for Day. No, it's not. Rather, it's a takedown Day for Day moving Pensberg. to the end of the mat. Day did an excellent job of avoiding that pin by uh, moving to the edge of the mat, trying to get a restart here. Two points for another near fall. That was, that was almost a uh, pin there by, uh, by, by, almost a pin there by Frayne. However, Day was able to get himself out of the edge of the mat and see if he can still keep himself alive here in this uh, match. And again, for North Penn to have any hope of winning this match tonight, they need at least a decision from Sean Day. Right. And so Frey and Dane grappling down low. And a quick move there from Frey. They will award one point there to Day. So Day is now down nine to two. And Frayne will pick up two more points for a takedown there. So he's up 11 to two. Frayne trying to take this match away. Day trying with everything he's got to keep himself in this match. This is very crucial to North Penn, essential. And that will do it for the first period here. Again, Frayne leading 11 to two. And I think Day will need a pin here, Joe, if he wants to have any hope of keeping this one alive. Yes, definitely. It'd have to be a big reversal of fortune, but he might be able to do it, Joe. He might be able to do it. Last string of hope for North Penn here. And Frayne with a quick reversal, he'll pick up two more points, and he's up 13 to two. Only four more points needed, and Frayne wins this one by technical fall and basically wins the match for Pensbury, Joe. Right, it's very crucial here. Frayne, the obvious aggressor, Frayne. Frayne battling day. And we got about 133 to go here in the second period. And Frey is go Frain is trying to pin Day. Day. Day is fighting for his life here on the mat here in the North Penn Gymnasium. And it looks like he's going to have a pin. And he has the pin. And there's the pin for Pat Frayne of Pensbury. And Pensbury will win this match. They're now leading 36 to 23. But that was a great pin there from Pat Frayne. Yeah, that was a very crucial, crucial match. Frayne just took that match, commanded it from the beginning. There was a very aggressive beginning, but then Frayne just took control and then took it from there to the pin. And that, that'll do it for North Penn. And so now we got the heavyweights. Pete McCormick of North Penn. And Joe Berger. Bergen. Bergen, rather, of Pensbury. And again, this is the heavyweight division. Again, McCormick weighing in at 258.7. Bergen weighing in at 212.6. So McCormick with a definite weight advantage here. Definite weight advantage here. Let's see if he can uh, use that to his advantage in this match. Again, McCormick continuing to fight. Again, here's our last match of the evening, heavyweight division. And they're standing up. Bergen in this match is uh, being very. And McCormick and Bergen going at it. Bergen is trying to make something happen. But again, McCormick again. Not much movement here, no points here, Joe. Yeah, no points. McCormick and Bergen. McCormick with a couple head taps. And again, they're still standing up. 
No takedowns, no reversals, no nothing, Joe. It was very evenly matched. And again, we got a real battle going here, Joe. A real battle. One minute to wrestle here in the first period. They're still giving it all they've got. Restart finally, that. McCormick makes something happen. Forces Bergen out of the circle, and they'll take it back to the center. Yeah, they'll take it back to the center. McCormick de definitely trying to uh, gain the advantage over Bergen. And now McCormick's got his head. And they'll break away. Last match of the night here in the North Penn Gymnasium. And now Bergen's got McCormick, but McCormick able to get his arms around Bergen's head. That was a great job there by McCormick. Very good job by McCormick. McCormick is trying to turn this around, trying to get the... Again, Bergen trying the ankle pick, but McCormick was able to break out of it. And now just force him out of the circle, and they'll go back to center standing up. 21 seconds to go here in the first. But again, Pete McCormick doing a great job of pulling out of that. Yeah, Pete McCormick did a very good job and uh, turned the momentum in his favor. So now McCormick continuing to fight with Bergen. Trying to make something happen here, Joe. Definitely trying to make something happen. It's very evenly matched. It's been spending most of the match standing up. And that is how they will end the first period of play. No score at the end of the first period. We didn't have a single point scored there. So Pete McCormick and Joe Bergen will Heavy go at it again for a second period. Heavyweights battling out here. Very evenly matched. And Bergen here is going to try and gain the advantage against uh, McCormick. And again, don't forget, fans, if we are tied at the end of three periods, we will go to an overtime period. Just one overtime period, though. Excuse me, two overtime periods. And again, McCormick is now on top of Bergen. He's finally gotten him down, Joe. No McCormick. takedown, but he's still got him on the mat. Yeah, McCormick is doing everything in his power to uh, get some points here. And McCormick... Trying to get some kind of a hold on Bergen. And now they're really battling, still no score. Bergen breaks away, and that is an escape. So Bergen picks up the first point of the match, 1-0. Picks up that point with that escape. But don't forget here that McCormick is still the aggressor. He's still doing very well. So McCormick needs to try to make something happen here. Blood timeout for North Penn. McCormick draws some of the red stuff. Oh, yeah. Again, just to review overtimes again, first overtime will last one minute in the first takedown win, so it's almost like a sudden death, Joe. Right. And then if required, if there are no takedowns in the second overtime, it's just 30 seconds long, so it's much shorter. Right. It right. becomes tighter and tighter as the overtimes go on, Joe. True, true. But again, we're not in overtime here. We're in the second period with 55 seconds to go. Again, Joe Bergen up one to nothing on Pete McCormick and North Penn. Again, low scoring match, but McCormick trying to make something happen here, Joe. Yes, McCormick has been the aggressor. Uh, Bergen getting that point on, uh, only on an escape. So McCormick trying to make something happen, some kind of takedown, Joe. Yes. 30 seconds to wrestle here in the second, so but McCormick's going to have to make something happen quick. Very quick. And they're still spending most of this match standing up, very evenly matched, fighting. Warnings for both. Ten seconds to go here in the second. McCormick's trying to drop him to the mat, but I don't think he'll do it by the time we get through the second period. Throws him out, that's the end of the second period. Again, Joe Bergen picking up a crucial escape early in the second, and he leads 1-0. Right. That one-point advantage may mean something in the end of this. And so now Bergen. Pete having his own cheering section here, trying to get something started. And now Bergen's got him down. If Pete McCormick can escape from this, that would pick him up a point. 
But right. he has to do it before the two minutes are up. He's got one minute, 43 seconds to do so, Joe. Right, he's got one minute, he's trying to get it going. Let's go Petey is the cheer that uh, is coming from the stands behind us, Tom. And if McCormick can just escape or avoid some type of a takedown, he'll be in good shape. Now McCormick trying to pin Bergen. He had his foot. One point given to McCormick there. And McCormick picks up a point for an escape, so a critical point there for Pete McCormick, doing some good work there. Very, very good work. So now we have a 1-1 tie, 124 to go. Critical point coming up. Reminded me of calculus, Jeff. Right, right. So here we go. 110 to go here in our final period of regulation. Pete McCormick of North Penn, Joe Bergen of Pensbury. McCormick trying to make something happen. No escapes, no nothing there. We're still tied 1-1. Under a minute to go here in the period. So we may be looking to an overtime here, Joe. Yes, we may be looking for an overtime. We've got 53 seconds left. If uh, seen it very even the match, they're still standing up, fighting at it. Either man trying to gain the advantage. And now they're really battling. 40 seconds to go here in regulation. Still no sign of movement. McCormick will force him out, and they'll go back to the center with 35 seconds to go here in regulation. Again, Pensbury has, for all intents and purposes, won the match. But Pete McCormick still trying to pick up a personal win here, Joe. Yes, definitely. Still fighting hard. Definitely not giving up. And Bergen's a good wrestler, too. He's 22-5 and five this year, Joe. Right, very good wrestler. McCormick, would be very good for him to uh, win this match. Bergen only a sophomore. 15 seconds to go here in the second. Still, we have a 1-1 one -one tie. Again, the fans still trying to cheer up Pete McCormick, trying to make something happen. They got five, four, three, two, one. Nothing there, no points, and we'll go to an overtime period, Joe. Yes, we're going to the overtime period to decide this match. Again, so the first overtime, one minute, first takedown wins. So, blood timeout for North Penn. Again, Pete McCormick has still got some blood. Yep. So now we're in the overtime period. Joe Bergen of Pensbury. And Pete McCormick of North Penn fighting it out for some personal pride here, Joe. <laughs> yes, definitely a personal pride win here. Match is short up pretty much for Pensbury, 36 to 23. First overtime match of the night, lowest scoring match of the night, Joe. Right, lowest, very low scoring, one to one here. Very evenly matched. Both men uh, spent most of the time standing up, going at it. There wasn't too many uh, points of being down on the mat. So they're continuing to fix up Pete McCormick over there before the one minute overtime period starts. Again, we've had two blood timeouts so far. Warning for both and an escape for both. And that's been it, Joe. Right. Again, just recapping the match so far. Two technical falls for Pensbury. And again, talking about that double overtime. In the second overtime, the top man just has to ride him out to win. The bottom man has to escape to win. So again, right. it becomes tighter and tighter as the overtimes go on, Joe. True, true. But again, we're not in overtime here. We're in the second period with 55 seconds to go. Again, Joe Bergen up one to nothing on Pete McCormick and North Penn. Again, low scoring match, but McCormick trying to make something happen here, Joe. Yes, McCormick has been the aggressor. Uh, Bergen getting that point all, uh, only on an escape. So McCormick trying to make something happen, some kind of takedown, Joe. Yes. 30 seconds to wrestle here in the second, so but McCormick's going to have to make something happen quick. Very quick. And they're still spending most of this match standing up, very evenly matched, fighting. Warnings for both. Ten seconds to go here in the second. McCormick's trying to drop him to the mat, but I don't think he'll do it by the time we get through the second period. Throws him out, that's the end of the second period. Again, Joe Bergen picking up a crucial escape early in the second and he leads one nothing. Right, that one point advantage may mean something in the end of this. 
And so now Bergen. Pete having his own cheering section here, trying to get something started. And now Bergen's got him down. If Pete McCormick can escape from this, that would pick him up a point. But right. he has to do it before the two minutes are up. He's got one minute, 43 seconds to do so, Joe. Right, he's got one minute. He's trying to get it going. Let's go, Petey is the cheer that uh, is coming from the stands behind us, Tom. And if McCormick can just escape or avoid some type of a takedown, he'll be in good shape. Now McCormick trying to pin Bergen. He had his foot. One point given to McCormick there. And McCormick picks up a point for an escape, so a critical point there for Pete McCormick doing some good work there. Very, very good work. So now we have a 1-1 one -one tie, 124 to go. Critical point coming up. Reminded me of calculus, Joe. Right, right. So here we go. 110 to go here in our final period of regulation. Pete McCormick of North Penn, Joe Bergen of Pensbury. McCormick trying to make something happen. No escapes, no nothing there. We're still tied 1-1. Under a minute to go here in the period, so we may be looking to an overtime here, Joe. Yes, we may be looking for an overtime. We've got 53 seconds left. If uh, I've seen it from very even the match are still standing up, fighting at it. Either man trying to gain the advantage. And now they're really battling. 40 seconds to go here in regulation. Still no sign of movement. McCormick will force him out, and they'll go back to the center with 35 seconds to go here in regulation. Again, Pensbury has, for all intents and purposes, won the match. But Pete McCormick still trying to pick up a personal win here, Joe. Yes, definitely. Still fighting hard. Definitely not giving up. And Bergen's a good wrestler, too. He's 22-5 and five this year, Joe. Right, very good wrestler. McCormick would be very good for him to uh, win this match. Bergen only a sophomore. 15 seconds to go here in the second. Still, we have a 1-1 one -one tie. Again, the fans still trying to cheer up Pete McCormick, try to make something happen. They got five, four, three, two, one. Nothing there. No points, and we'll go to an overtime period, Joe. Yes, we we're going to the overtime period to decide this match. Again, so the first overtime, one minute, first takedown wins. So, Blood timeout for North Penn. Again, Pete McCormick still got some blood. Yep. So now we're in the overtime period. Joe Bergen of Pensbury and Pete McCormick of North Penn fighting it out for some personal pride here, Joe. <laughs> yes, definitely personal pride win here. Match is short up pretty much for Pensbury, 36 to 23. First overtime match of the night, lowest scoring match of the night, Joe. Right, lowest, very lowest scoring, one to one here. Very evenly matched. Both men uh, spent most of the time standing up, going at it. There wasn't too many uh, points of being down on the mat. So they're continuing to fix up Pete McCormick over there before the one minute overtime period starts. Again, we've had two blood timeouts so far. Warning for both, and an escape for both, and that's been it, Joe. Right. Again, just recapping the match so far. Two technical falls for Pensbury. Bill Trimble at 130 and Ben Rees at 135 really provided the thrust of their momentum, really picking up some points in this match, Joe. Right, definitely. <coughs> Winners for North Penn by fall include Brandon Hill. And here we go, the one minute overtime period again. First takedown wins. Here we go, they continue to grapple. Pete McCormick trying to make something happen here. Taking a couple more risks, Joe. Yes. Definitely taking all risks possible and trying to get this uh, overtime win. 40 to go here. Again, yeah, McCormick trying to make something happen, trying to go down low with the ankle pick. And they're really fighting now, Joe. Yeah, they're going at it. Desperation increases Mc as time McCormick goes down. trying to force him out. And they will come back to the center, standing up. And now with about 20 seconds to go, 
you have to wonder who will be on top and who will be on the bottom in the second overtime if it comes, Joe. Right, right. McCormick in a battle here with Joe Bergen of Pensbury. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we will go to one more overtime period. No score in the first one. So now they've only got 30 seconds to decide this one, Joe. Right, 30 seconds left in uh, this match. And they will flip a coin. A red and green disc, as the uh, case may be. And an angry fan will be escorted from the gymnasium. But that's no matter because we have a second overtime period going here. Pete McCormick and Joe Bergen of Pensbury. And Pensbury will take it down. And Pete McCormick will be on top. So all Pete McCormick has to do is hold Bergen down for 30 seconds, and he wins this match in the right. second overtime, Joe. Right. Very key. Bergen, uh, Cormick turns out to do all he can. All he has to do is keep him down, and it's a real battle here, Joe. 20 seconds to go. McCormick continuing to work. He's got to keep him down. He's still got him down, Joe. And still got him. 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go. McCormick's got him down. Five, five, four, three, two, one. And Pete McCormick wins in double overtime, holding down Joe Bergen for a dramatic finish. He will pick up the point by decision in double overtime, Joe. Right, that was a very excellent win there from McCormick. He did very well in that second overtime, holding, holding Bergen down. It was a very, very key. And so McCormick wins in the heavyweight division. And our final score here in the North Penn Gymnasium, Pensbury 36, North Penn 26. Joe, final thoughts? It was very, very well thought out match. Pensbury is a very, very strong team. North Penn had an excellent showing, however, against them. It was a very, very great match. Incredible job. Wins there for North Penn by Brandon Hill, uh, Joe Radisoni, and again, Pete McCormick in the heavyweight division. Some of the highlights of tonight's matchup. And so that'll do it from the North Penn Gymnasium for Joe. For Joe Walsh, I'm Tom Brown. Have yourself a great evening. Signing off here from the North Penn Gymnasium on North Penn Television.